I've been thinking and praying and meditating about the year 2021. I know a lot of people are probably desperate to see the new year through, to leave the 2020 year behind and have nothing more to do with it. A lot of us experienced loss, sadness, mental health issues, and also complete change. We experienced change in job, in situation, maybe in location, maybe a whole world was turned upside down. It was a dramatic, epic year. But it's time to mourn, and there's a time to dance, there's a time to look back, and a time to look forward, and this whole week I just feel ready to speak about the new year, to speak life into it, and to ask God what sort of things to expect, what can I be praying into, um, and what are the sort of verses, maybe Bible verses, that he has for us. And so I am sort of spitballing, making this up as I go along, but the first word that I've been thinking about for the last two weeks is the words build and rebuild. And it makes sense if you think about how maybe towers and buildings and things we once knew felt like they sort of crumbled and everything's changed. Maybe some of us are entering a season to build and rebuild. Maybe that's not a bad thing though. Maybe there was purpose behind a crumbling, purpose behind a wall falling down, purpose behind a structure or something that you thought was safe and thought was comfortable being torn up. That might be a case for your church. So many churches have changed. So many churches have either started or stopped like mine did. And it's just a chance to rebuild differently and to make sure that our focus is in the right place. Um, maybe there were some things in 2020 that God decided he wanted to tear down and he wanted to take out of your life and change because the focus wasn't in the right place. And now's your chance. Now's your chance to do things differently. And that leads on to my second thing that I know I really wanted to say. I have been mulling over the words and you might have seen it in 2020 because there is a TV show called The Chosen and it's sort of a hashtag that they've semi-adopted and it's get used to different. And if you've been holding on to 2017, 2018, 2016, thinking, oh, those were the times, like, can't we go back to then? Can't we go back to that time? I don't think that that is a very um, positive, but also I don't think that's a very godly, holy sort of perspective to have, to be like, oh, I wish it was, you know like it was in the past and I'm not happy with what is now. I think we need to be content and joyful in all circumstances and I think we need to be thinking what is God doing now? What new thing is he trying to do? And that is my next point. Get used to different. This is the new us. This is the new way and so don't try and build what was built before. Don't try and do what the same thing again. Get used to different. Now, a quick sort of side note to both of those things is I saw people working hard. It doesn't mean that it's going to be easy or fast. Maybe it will be for some of us, but I saw people, you know, really putting their shovels in the ground and working away to build these things and these new things. And so for some of us, that might mean learning a new sort of work ethic. Overall, and sort of umbrellaing all of those is is the focus Jesus? That's the word that I keep coming back to is, is the focus Jesus? These things that we're rebuilding, the things that we're working hard to do, working hard to change, is the focus on Jesus? What is your daily focus on? What is your priority? He always wants us to come back to him. Everything he does is to build a more intimate, a closer relationship. That is what he wants and that is what he wants with you. What is he doing through all of this to bring you closer to him? And I think that in the new year, it's a perfect time. I mean, every day is a perfect time to start this, but it is a perfect time to just sort of reshift and reschedule our time with him to make sure that he is the priority and that we are not people that worship a church because clearly we can't rely on that. We are not people that worship our work because clearly we can't rely on that. We can't rely on even our health. We can't rely on anything. That is what 2020 has taught us. What we can rely on is Jesus. Underneath it all and all the confusion and the mess and the pain, 
he is there as a consistent and why are we not rebuilding and building on him that is our my plan for 2021 and i hope it's yours too i do see it as a year of healing and nursing wounds a healing of the heart and of the mind a healing of um, relationship uh, relationship with jesus i see people that um who had maybe like a rocky season or a season in the wilderness or a season of actually just turning away, I see hearts being healed and just coming back. So I think if anyone that you know who's maybe um, just fallen away or just stopped going to church or you know stopped their relationship with Jesus, I feel like 2021 is the perfect time to nurse and to heal and to bring back some of these might seem really vague, some of them might seem really specific to me, and they are, they are so specific to me because I believe this is what God has sort of been saying to me in my times with him. Um, I believe that yes, I do need to do rebuilding, I do need to get used to different, there's been loads of that um, this year and particularly as I enter into 2021. But let's get ready for a big restoration. Let's get ready for a big change in what faith and what being a Christian looks like this year. Are you ready to choose? Are you ready to decide? Maybe right now you're in a place where you're like, I'm not sure if I'm all in or not. I'm not sure if Jesus is for me or, or not. I want to encourage you right now. Now is the time. If you've had a rough year, a tough year, if you're in a dark place, I don't do this a lot on my channel, but I want to invite you to just come before Jesus right now and tell him that you need him. Ask him to reveal himself to you in whatever specific way that you need him to right now, whether that's in relationships or health or finance or whatever way. I believe that Jesus wants to meet people through this YouTube channel and through me and what I do and it is a great pleasure and it, you will not regret it if you make that decision. So please, maybe I'll drop some links below. I think I'm gonna round it up there. Now is the time. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me on the 2020 journey. It's been wild. I've done some good things, some not so great things. And Jesus still loves me because he is good. Hallelujah. Bring it on. See you in the new year. Peace. Thank you.